Wetland is a project that I did with collaborators in 2014, and it's based in Philadelphia. It's actually still there, but we launched it last summer. And basically, it's an entire ecosystem. Um, so it's an old boat that is made to look like it's a sinking house. So we basically took an old boat and gutted it, and then um, made it look like it's a sinking row house on its side. And around that, we have gardens for food. We had chickens for eggs and bees um, and floating wetlands around the perimeter. So we use those wetlands to actually start to clean the water from the Delaware and that water we could use in our living systems. So sometimes we took water right from the Delaware and other times we took it from the rain. We had solar panels and an event space. So we powered everything for the event space with the solar panels and um, it was a pretty active space last year. So we're gonna start it up again in the spring. We are just very fortunate to have another collaboration with SICA. They're our neighbors and partners in STEAM, and it is great having Mary Mattingly here uh, with this particular project. It gives our students an opportunity to see art in a different venue rather than in a traditional way, and as you, as you all know, there's nothing traditional about SICA. There's nothing traditional about Wiley. I think that's why we get along so, so well. Uh, it's great for students to see the impact of art on solving problems and creating solutions. And we are grateful for Sika's support and grateful for Mary's talents and her showing how art can be innovative and creative and aesthetic, but also a viable solution to help a lot of people. And essentially what we've done is we've worked with the artist Mary Manley to make these floating wetlands. And so the students were asked to help assemble and then plant the wetlands. So we essentially used uh, insulation foam and burlap and zip ties to make these, these floating structures that would then nest and almost work like a basket to hold the dirt and the wetland plants. Sustainability is something we need to live. It's like trees and they give us oxygen, uh, water, which is something that humans need the most to survive. Um, we need to make sure the water stays clean because if it's not, it's unhealthy for you and it's just really going to affect us as a society. We're making floating wetlands to put on the lake at Sika. The wetlands helps to keep the water clean. It also helps the animals to live or survive. If 
we didn't have clean waters, one of the big major effects would we probably die of disease because there could be parasites or germs and stuff in the water to where that if we drink it and it's not clean, it can make us really sick. If we didn't have any clean water, we wouldn't be able to grow our plants, which, would be, which is the main source of our food. I think that it's going to be better because it's going to kind of purify the water and get rid of pollution and it'll be much healthier for plants and animals around it. We are going to float the students' wetlands out in the lake behind Sika. And so this project, it helps the students not only understand sustainability because it's teaching them about how these plants aren't just plants, they also help filter out harmful chemicals uh, specifically nitrates in, in um, or th these plants. And Mary chose them specifically for their properties of, of pulling toxins out of the water. And she thought this was a particularly strong issue because of the large farming communities in this region. And so not only does it teach them how you can use, um, how you can create all these different types of artwork using materials that they never really may have considered before, but it's a lot more than that because it teaches them about the environment and sustainability and science and biology all at the same time.